So the year is 1816. A Scottish clergyman invents a new engine. The principle of operations are really simple. You have air in a cavity, you eat it up, it expands, then it cools, then it expands again. In principle, if you attach a magnet to it, you can generate electricity. This engine has two unique properties. First, it is essentially fuel agnostic. It can use any heat, any source of heat as fuel. Essentially, this engine can use the source of heat of my hand as, as fuel. Unfortunately, it stopped working just now. <laughs> which is obviously the case. Um, the other property of the Stirling engine is that it is maintenance-free. Think about it this way. You own a car, it requires periodic maintenance for oil change and lubrication, these sort of things. The Stirling engine is essentially sealed, and it doesn't need any maintenance. So if you went to an engineering school, you probably learned about these unique properties of the Stirling engine. And your professor probably told you that no company ever commercialized a power generator based on the Stirling principle because it's very hard to control. And your professor was right until recently. Here is the power gen. The only power generator based on the Stirling principle that has these two quantities. It's maintenance free and it can use any source of fuel. Our success is rooted in two factors. One is the mechanical design. Our engineers have been working on it for about 30 years. Uh, last year, NASA issued a press release saying that this design is the most reliable heat engine ever invented. The other property is... The, the other property is the control. We control our engine with proprietary software and electronics and remove this 200 years issue of how, con how to control the engine. We launched our product two years ago, and since then we, we, we've been growing 300% year over year, and intend obviously to grow more. We've been lucky to have a really a loyal base of Fortune 500 customers that are building these engines because they need reliable remote uh, power. And two months ago, one of our engines celebrated 20,000 years, uh, uh, hours of <laughs> maintenance-free, sorry, of maintenance-free operation. No human intervention. So, thank you. These, these two properties of the Stirling engine being maintenance-free and fuel agnostic are pretty important for mitigating climate change. And I want to give you two examples. One comes from the oil and gas industry. It turns out that the industry is using the pressure in the pipelines to open and close valves. Every time they open a valve, they emit natural gas, which is essentially methane. In the US alone, there's about 100,000 valves that emit the equivalent of 8 million cars. And that's a simple problem to solve. All you need is reliable remote power, and then you can compress air and replace this methane with compressed air. We launched a full solution during this summer. We already deployed 10 units, and our intention in the next five years is to reduce the emissions of a million cars. The second example actually comes from the other side of the spectrum. Maybe call it the bottom of the pyramid. There's about half a billion people on the planet that have access to animal manure, but don't have access to energy. This is a pig farm in Mexico. The animal manure is fed into biodigesters. They create methane. We take, the, we take this methane and provide the farmer with clean energy. So to summarize, Qenergy is taking the 200 years old Stirling engine to build a profitable business that helped mitigate climate change. Thank you very much.